Hi, three and four year old leaders. We're preparing for April 28th in our series called Be Strong and Courageous. I love this series as we are heading into summer to help us all to remember to finish strong. Many of your kids are in a preschool program. Many of their parents are super tired. You may be super tired because you're chasing your kids around right now. But um, I think what this series helps us know is to stay focused on God, just like the Israelites who tended to wonder. Um, we also tend to wonder. Um, and this lesson we're going to be teaching is called Joshua and Caleb. God is preparing a new leader to take over from Moses. Moses is getting old. The generation of people that Moses led are getting old. And so there's a new generation with kids and grandkids that um, God needs to continue to help lead so that they can get to the promised land. In this story this week, they are going to send some spies into the promised land. And God knows exactly what's happening in the promised land. He knows there's strong people there. He knows that they have strong religious beliefs that have nothing to do with God's values and God's beliefs. God's um, ways, but um, he also knows that this is the land that he promised the Israelites. And so um, as the Israelites begin to see what God is promising to them, they are beginning to get scared as all of us um, do regularly when we are face to face with the opportunity to see something God sized, we get scared as well. One of the things that um, stuck out to me as I was reading through our large group notes on this is no matter what God did to prove his faithfulness, the Israelites always seem to turn away from him or believe wrong things about him. I know that that is something that I struggle with all the time is that when I do not spend time in God's word or and with people who are working to honor God with their lives, then I begin to believe wrong things about God. And when I begin to believe wrong things about God, then I turn away from him and I don't seek him in every situation. And God wants for us to be as loyal to him as he is to us. And so I uh, this story, I hope, will help us all to kind of just reset a little bit, especially in this season as we, we're super busy and there's so many extra things going on that we will reset and remember that God is our number one. Like God has been trying to prove to the Israelites from the very beginning. He is their number one and he does have a plan for them. So in your small groups today, you have your social game, which I think could be a whole lot of fun for you. You've got some um, pie tins and some little white things that are our version of rocks. They are made out of um, color wonder clay that has already dried. We were trying to make you make it where you didn't have rocks that could be thrown at each other and possibly hurt each other. So. You have your rocks, and there should be 24 of them, and you have spoons for, for all your kiddos. And what you're going to do is try to make two teams. If teams don't work best, especially for your three-year-olds, then um, just make one big line, and they can take turns um, trying to move all of the rocks. And so if you can make teams, you're going to have two teams um, with 12 stones each. And then um, you're going to give them spoons. If there's not enough spoons for each kid in your group, that's okay. Um, maybe they take turns with the spoons um, so that they can get a chance to play the game. So this is essentially like an egg um, egg relay. Have you ever played the egg relay where you carry an egg in your spoon and then you dump it and... So you're going to do, the kids are going to do that. They're going to go down. They're going to pick up one of their stones, not with their hand, but with their spoon out of their, out of the bowl. They're, and then they're going to try to carry their stone all the way back to the next pan without it falling out. If it falls out, then they will need to go back and start all over again. Um, 
So just a fun, fun way to remember what God's going to teach us later on as the Israelites are crossing the Jordan River. And he asked for them to go back and pick up 12 stones to remember that God is there. In this whole series, we're going to be looking at two different things. One is God is always there. God is always with us. God is always watching out for us. God always has a plan for us. So that's one of them. And the other one is we're going to be looking at because the Israelites' disobedience is what's giving them more time in the wilderness, we're going to look at the meaning of sin. And our big picture question for this series is, what does it mean to sin? To sin is to think, speak, or behave in any way, any way that goes against God and his command. So hopefully, as we begin to help kids understand what sin is, then maybe they can begin to make choices where they put God as their number one. All right. Your small group activity, you're going to have one of these pieces of paper for each kid and some pencils in your room. Um, and what you're going to do is hopefully we have good enough weather that you can take the kiddos outside and they're supposed to look for these things. Now, we understand that your littlest ones may not be able to read the words, but hopefully the pictures help them. And if the pictures don't help them, then maybe you guys can take turns and with your teen helpers, um, pair up kids a little at a time until they find all of those things. Another way that you could embellish this is to have the kids um, use your phone to take pictures of the things that they spy. That's because in the story today, remember God sent some spies into the promised land and then the Israelites got scared. All right, then your memory verse for this series I am so excited about and I hope that you are too. Maybe this is one that you have had memorized for a very long time. If good, if so, way to go. You deserve a gold star. If not, I challenge you, commit this one to memory. It's from Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. Your, your signs for this, I did um, look up and have done a little bit of sign language, so hopefully you're staying with me. So the first sign is the sign for trust, and the, tr the sign for trust is like pulling a rope, like pulling a rope. I'm, I'm having to do it over my head. It probably works better if you do it um, out in front of you, but I'm trying to make it to where you can see it. So you're going to be pulling a rope, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Do not use your own brain. Your brain will deceive you. Lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways, this is the sign for all, in all your ways, acknowledge him or submit to him and he will make your paths straight, not jagged, but straight. If we follow God, he will direct us in the ways that we need to go, but through his word, through his people who will continue to try to seek him. Now that's, I add that disclaimer because just because someone goes to church doesn't mean that they're trying to seek God in their daily life. So um, I know many of you do, and I am thankful for you as leaders um, but also, we need to make sure that kids don't think that just because it's church that they're going to get that from every single person. All of us are in a different place in our walk with God, and there could be something that happens tomorrow that would throw me off as well. And so um, we just need to make sure that kids understand that we all need to work at following God with our whole lives. And then you can pray and dismiss your kiddos. Thank you so much for leading through Easter. We had a great Easter season. And we got to see so many new faces, so many um, families come back with their kids with lots of excitement. And so thank you. Thank you for loving kids, for giving up your Easter so that you can serve, so other people can know about Jesus. Um, we... 
in the next few weeks, I'm sure Pastor Mike will be sharing some of the details of what happened through Easter. If not, I will get to you with those details very soon. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Big plans to join us May 7th, May 15th at um, Outlaw Pass. This is our leader appreciation for the for the year. Uh, we have the whole place to ourselves. Only Parkway is, are going to be there. And we're going to get to ride go-karts and play putt-putt. I challenge you to a game of putt-putt. And um, just have a fun night together celebrating all that God has done amongst us in this last season. Thank you for leading. If you need me for anything, please reach out anytime.